Tell me, can you see the stars? Right, so the video I made on Agam Burn Now was uh, pretty well received and a lot of people commented on other pro riders they want me to look into. And I knew Ian Stanard did post on Strava, he's another Sky guy who does. Um, but he hasn't really posted recently. Um, but anyway, I found some great stuff from 2016. And it basically is the Team Sky Tenerife camp before the Tour de France, which is always this you know, special thing that no one really knows what they do, but you know, they turn out all these tall winners and incredible domestiques. So you can ha we can have a little look here, doesn't post anything in May, obviously he was riding, uh, you know, decent amount of Ks here, and then just June, uh, in, in the, sorry, early May, just before June, he really has some very solid rides. So we'll just go through each ride more or less, just to see what they're doing. Um, you'll notice some similarities with what Bernal's doing and some differences. So anyway, if you didn't know, Tenerife is very mountainous. So this was uh, the first day, which I believe, um, was on the yeah, 16th of May 2016, so this is when Chris Room won his uh, third Tour de France after winning 2013, 2015, 2016. Uh, so anyway, you can see here, they basically start at the top of the mountain, this is where they sleep, they just descend, and then just basically ride tempo all the way up, um, so 352 watts, which Stanard's FTP is probably, I'd say, about 450 to 460, something like very, very large, potentially, uh, potentially bigger. So this is sort of zone two, zone three tempo, like not that stressful for him. You can see in terms of speed, 6% gradient, 18 Ks an hour. I mean, that's not that fast. Like, I'm not, it's not crazy, but obviously the absolute power is good, but the watts per kilo is obviously not crazy, but that's not what Stanard's good at. So anyway, just easy way to start the training camp. Next day, as you can see, highlighted the same thing, exactly the same effort, just ride tempo back up to the hotel. Um, the rest of it's just descending and sort of junk miles and not really junk miles, but in a way, yes. Um, anyway, we can then move on to this next proper one, and you can see we start doing some intervals. So this lap function on Strava is pretty useful. So you can see here again, just riding tempo up the climb, but you know, recording it more than just riding. Then 308 watts, that's pretty much zone two for him, I'd say. 350, uh, then you have uh, sort of like, again, eight minutes at 400 watts. That's more sort of, I guess, sweet spot, um, sort of th almost going to threshold. And again, and then you'd see this little uh, effort here, which is again, sort of a high tempo, um, sort of th sweet spot threshold sort of effort uh, with a couple of sprints chucked in here. Um, not um, crazy sprints, but just, I guess, a little bit of peaks here or there. Um, but I think that's not necessarily by design. It might just be how Stanard having to ride it. Uh, but anyway, again, you know, just classic, classic things to ease off the training camp. Nothing absolutely nuts yet, but you will see in a minute, it does get more crazy. Uh, we're now on to the 19th of May, very easy recovery ride, 229 weighted average power, which for standard is literally recovery pace. This spike, I believe, will be a stages spike. Um, we will see, yep, stages spike. So even Team Sky gets stages spikes where they just randomly decide you're doing 1800 watts, which he isn't. Um, but yeah, get, again, just nice recovery ride. They don't really go up or down much, um, to be honest. And uh, yeah, that is it. So this is the first proper real day, I guess I'd say, of training for him. Uh, and we'll see some, you know, just this is like a, a lot of over and unders, which I've noticed they're doing a lot of this before their big races, Team Sky it seems. Um, so I guess it's probably, what, 110% of FTP potentially here um, and then drops back down and then 110% of FTP and then sort of recovery pace. Um, 20 minutes just cruising, uh, then 24 minutes at threshold, I would say maybe a little like, sort of low threshold um, and then 40 minutes just going down the hill. And then we have this, which I've noticed them, also Team Sky do a lot. They do a big surge, so six, 700 watts almost, six, six, eight, 670 watts, sorry, for a minute, and then s settled straight into a sweet spot. So you can see here, there's a little rest here, just a little bit here, and then settle into this sort of uh, tempo, sorry, sweet spot slash threshold effort, and then to see, to see towards the end, I think the power meter starts fucking up, or Star can't hold the power, but I think it's probably the power meter fucking up, which is not great advertisements for stages, but again, you can see it's pretty interesting. Nine minutes off. Another 18 minutes at um, threshold, I would say. 10 minutes off and then 26 minutes. Also, you do have to think this is the altitude, so obviously the numbers are slightly less. But you can see this is a very similar workout. If you watch my Bernal video, see he did an almost identical workout where he rides at sort of tempo, which is I was saying, and then does these 600 watt sort of bursts in between to sort of, I guess, mimic attacks and really tax your anaerobic system a lot more because you're suddenly going into the red on these climbs and then sitting back down. I mean, this isn't necessarily as useful for Sanon because normally he doesn't pull too much on like the climbs, or if he does, it's like sort of more tempo, I guess, which is why Stanard potentially is doing different training to what Chris Froome would do, um, because Stanard, I guess, his main thing is just riding at tempo for a very long time, as that is pretty much his job. Uh, but anyway, this is obviously a solid day for Stanard. When you look at the weighted average power, 330 weight average power um, for four hours, so normal has more, probably more like 350, 360 for four hours just in training. 
which if any of you have a power meter, you will know that is absolutely nuts, um, especially when it's mountainous. When it's mountainous, your normalizer is always worse because you get lo long periods of zero. Um, it's best, you bet get the best normalizer normally when it's like short, short ups and short downs, so you're really surging the power. Uh, okay, and then next ride again, this is more of just an endurance ride, as you can see. Um, again, I mean, Tenerife is not the best place for an endurance ride, as you can see here, the amount of um, time accumulated in zone two is actually incredibly low because they're descending and they basically just ride again tempo back up to the hotel 330 watts sort of zone two tempo i guess high zone two is what you'd call it um but yeah i mean it's not great for this sort of ride um and obviously a better thing would just be to ride zone two the whole time but these guys at this part of the season they're pretty well aerobically adapted so their main thing is just getting up to race speed and improving their threshold and ability to sustain long efforts again this is another effort day 400 watts just to begin you can see some sort of surges but they don't look t they look like he hasn't done them perfectly because there's a lot of like different variation unless team sky want them to do different ones but it's weird that the third interval would be way bigger then it drops down and the last one's big as well maybe stanley was just not really feeling on some of the intervals i'm not 100 percent sure uh next one six minutes at 425 watts just i guess again sort of tempo effort 12 minutes at 478 watts and then six minutes at 418 watts so that's sort of a pyramid interval i guess it's probably like Sweet spot, threshold, sweet spot. Um, that would be maybe maybe this is maybe it's a little bit more than sweet, uh, threshold. As you know, you know, looking at the altitude, this would this would be um, a threshold effort. Then forty eight minutes just going down the hill, really chill, and then again twelve minutes four hundred and seventy watts. So again threshold, I would say uh, one minute forty five at three hundred fifty watts, which I guess is the tempo. Another twelve minutes at four hundred and sixty watts, which is threshold, and then just cruising basically for him. Uh, it's a bit it's a bit crazy when you say two hundred fifty four watts is cruising, but it basically is. Um, but yeah, you can see you know that's thirty six minutes accumulated at threshold um, with a lot of other efforts here, some sort of openers. Maybe these openers, that's probably what they are. I get, I would say maybe openers, um, and then this is sort of going into building up into the threshold area. Um, I guess they're trying to re replicate race situations. Maybe before a climb, you'd ride at sort of this tempo and then get onto the climb, start riding threshold. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, it's pretty incredible to have this all this data about Ian Stanard, figuring out what Team Sky do on their training counts, and seeing that a lot of it isn't just rocket science. I mean, it's not rocket science. It's just like working incredibly hard. Um, and you can see here, 23k an hour for 6% gradient requires 466 watts for Stanard. So you can sort of get a rough estimate of what his weight is, which is high 80s, I would say. Um, or 85 potentially again another rest day here just you know cruising uh, and then we have his ne the next so <clears throat> sorry the next set of <laughs>